Okay, uh, I want to say welcome again, and welcome is me, Wusha Richard, or Richard Clark, and I'm here again with um, my art software on. Okay, I've got my art software on my computer, digital art software, Fire Alpaca, and um, what you can see on my screen is a sketch here of a character, a um, very rough sketch, it's just like a basic um, setup. And uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm working on a cartoon, an animated cartoon I'm working on, uh, for one of my new shows and I thought what I would do is I would just show you the process of what I'm doing here so I've got stick figure set up I just really sketched out this almost like a stick figure so rough and uh, this scene is very simple it's a scene within one of my new cartoons that I'm working on um, and this is one particular scene in particular that I'm working on and so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna just show you what I'm doing I'm not I'm not the best artist and I'm not the best uh, you know artist or animator but I am working on an animated cartoon right now and um, I'm just showing you the process of some of the scenes that I'm working on using Fire Alpaca this art software that's free to download and awesome to use I have made some tutorials on this software already um, anyway, let's uh, have a look, okay, so basically um, I'm in this software, I've got one layer set up, which is my sketch, uh, this is basically a character, he's standing up, he was sitting down and he's, he's going to stand up, and I've, I've only set it to four frames, really simple, so it is just a case of drawing over each of these rough sketches that I've got, I'm going to make them kind of faint here, so I can just about see and then I'm and then I'm going to draw over okay this character so uh, it's a case of basically basically working with layers and stuff um, I'm going to draw it so that his eyes are maybe here and I'm going to draw this really uh, kind of rough you know but um it's like it's one of those things you know it's like you have you have to I don't know, it's a kind of gut instinct, I guess. One of those gut instinct kind of things, you know what they say. Where you just got to work in the level of detail that you think is um, necessary. And again, even with, some, even with some of these sketches that I do, you know. Even with some of these sketches, um, they even sometimes turn into the actual art. Because <laughs> I tell myself okay I'm gonna do a rough sketch first you know and then draw over it you know but sometimes I'm not talking about the stick figure I'm just talking about the actual like like what I'm doing here this is supposed to be this was originally gonna be like a rough sketch but if I can get this right you know then maybe I can just use this for the actual art I remember like I say I can remember guys I'm not regarding myself as an it's not me being humble and <laughs> I'm telling you now, I'm not one of the best, I'm not a great artist, you know. I'm just doing what I'm doing here and loving what I'm doing, creating and with practice, you know, you get better. So I'm basically just drawing in my character here. He's just standing up, you know. <laughs> and it's a case of drawing carefully. I want to say as quickly as possible, but it's like as slow, you're trying to like take time on it, you know, to make it good, but it's like, you know it's one of them ones and I don't know it it takes some practice I'll say that and if, if, once you're happy with your art you know you can just you can call it a day you can you know you can save it out you know so I'm just drawing this character out here it's not the best drawing you know but I'm just doing what I'm doing here you know I want to erase, erase certain parts as you go, but I just love drawing. <laughs> I think I hate seeing my terrible art, but I do love to draw, and I love practice. I just enjoy it. It's something hypnotic about it. It's something you know, um, yeah, meditative about it. You know, I'm just adjusting the hand position here just to be simple for myself. <laughs> But it's not about that, you know. Sometimes you've got to do. Uh, you've got to have more patience. Sometimes I find there's a little bit of lag. I think it's a little bit slow. Yeah, I don't know. Or I don't know if that is or not. Sometimes I'm f I feel like I'm getting a bit of lag here on my um, 
pen and I think that's because I'm making this video for you and also I have um, another um, video that I'm saving for you also in the background I've made quite a few um, tutorials today uh, on music software for you because I've had some people like, asking about um, you know asking about how I make music and stuff you know and I'm very happy to make those videos for you guys if anybody likes what I do and any anything I do I'm, I'm really grateful for it even if you can uh, just admire my the passion I've got for it, you know what I mean? It's like it's not it's not even I'm not even saying that I'm like a great artist or whatever or a great musician or whatever, but it's just the fact that you've gotta have that drive to wanna do good and create, you know, in, in life I think. And just you know, and just you just wanna create, you know. So it's about so these controls I'm going over here, as I say, I'm not covering everything here again, you know, I'm just literally um, I'm not telling you everything everything I'm doing here I'm just just doing it you know um, because a another reason for that being you can see what I'm doing but also um, you know I've actually made some tutorials for you already so go and check them out you know but there's going to be a lot more tutorials so don't worry about that okay don't worry a thing <laughs> We're gonna okay. I see. So, for example, like this image here, it's rough looking. Maybe it's not the best piece of art, but I am gonna keep that as an actual image. You see, I'm gonna keep that. I'm not gonna draw the background line here, the the ground, because I'm gonna do that separate. Okay, either, either side. Uh, so this is actually set up now. I think we get the idea anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that back. No, I'm gonna uh, just crank up the. Um, crank it up, <laughs> crank it up, the um, the brightness and stuff, just to get rid of that detail and bring it back down, I'm going to merge that down and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic wand tool click around that and then delete the edges, you know, we've closed it up good select, go to deselect, speaking like a zombie as I do, I'm talking to you here Go to a expand by one. This is a feature that I've not talked about before. We'll go to expand by one. If you want to make sure that the pixels do actually meet up to the lines, if they're not, but you don't have to do that. Another way is by clicking with the magic wand and just clicking inside and then filling in that, which I think it would actually be a better way of doing things. Actually, um, let me just go here. Select, deselect, filter. We're going to make, change the level levels in a moment. Hold on. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to change the level of this. Okay, I think we may do like one image per per um, per video. I think because otherwise, otherwise these videos will be too long. But now I'm going to go to the filter. So filter levels again. Um, go to that first one on the right on the top bar. And so the third one along on the top bar here. Bring it up white. I want it to like almost white. That's okay, and it's maintain that for the the karate gi. Okay, if I zoom in here, I've just noticed a few. You know, make sure you've got these um, gaps closed up. You know, well enough, especially around the belt. Make sure it's on black too. It's on black. Good. Actually, I'm going to choose it almost black, slightly lighter dark grey and I'm going to go in with the with the um, paint bucket see it doesn't it doesn't match up right so I'm going to hold control on the keyboard press delete tutor in you as I'm going here <laughs> uh, go with the uh, magic wand click in there okay go with the pen if I want to make it a massive one and just go that works select deselect but it works and it doesn't sort of thing it works and it doesn't like make a small I can kind of like paint over like little areas here I don't know I don't know man I got no goddamn idea okay so now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna paint that up y'all deselect that hole we gonna get this shit popping right I'm gonna put my little motherfucking put my little put my little mofo goddamn magic wand up in this bitch 
we gonna know what's cooking, right? We all know what's cooking tonight. Blood. I'm just playing around. <laughs> I, I ain't the best, you know. I ain't the best at flipping burgers, but if I was, I'd be a happy goddamn man. Cause, ooh, I feel goddamn hungry right now. I could flip me a bitch. I just want to get me some goddamn Big Macs up in this motherfucker. No, I do, you know. I really would love to have a Big Mac right now. I'd love to have one, you know. I'd love to have one right now. So you just can ignore my funny voices and goddamn razzmatazz. I'm gonna choose me a lower color there. I'm gonna give you one of those tutorial voices and tell you what's going on. We just having some fun today. We just having a whole lot of fun today. Goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> Not you personally, but. You know, we doing that. We doing it right up in here. It just don't matter what you doing. Whether whether you shopping for hot dogs or you are you flipping them burgers, man. It just don't give me a goddamn shit. I'm gonna go to D select, okay? I'm going to go to G select and I'm going to select this. I'm gonna click on that one right there. You see how I do that, y'all? Clean it clickety clack. It ain't coming back. Click on this one right about here, and you got the feel of that hole. Alright, yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's basically a case of just, it's a basically a case of just, um, you know, choosing between the magic, the magic wand, you know, to select areas, and then the, um, the paint bucket tool to get your paint in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Got paint the goddamn colors on this hole. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go up there, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bury this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you out here right, right now, y'all. I'm gonna bring down the darkness on this motherfucker for real. I'm just cranking it up because I want to make the darks a little bit more dark. You feel me? Bring them up into the land of the darkness, man. You think I was a Halloween shadow up in this bitch coming to rip the night out of the, rip the night out of the cloud? You feel me? And basically we got our character there, he's just standing up, he's looking like, no, you, you feel me? You feel me? I'm going to bring him a little bit down here, like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of that layer. And I'm going to bring the darkness down. Bring the darkness down. Bring the darkness on the motherfucker. I'm gonna click <laughs> make that dark, okay? Got the goddamn flies flying around my goddamn face here. Yeah, I don't want I don't wanna be eating no goddamn mosquitoes up in this hole, you feel me? So okay, I'm gonna bring this one down lower. Usually I like to paint on the light, man, so you can see what you're doing right. But today I'm gonna paint on that darkness, motherfucker. Paint on that shadow, motherfucker. I'm gonna paint on the goddamn shadow here. You see why it's a wash cracking, you feel me? Alright, so let's do this shit, man. What are we doing here? Alright, so basically, I'll paint me a goddamn shadow on that hole. Alright? I'm gonna paint me a goddamn shadow on that goddamn hole right here. My characters ain't holes or nothing, I'm just saying, y'all. Alright, so when you got that shit popping, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if she in stockings or what, but when you got that shit popping, woo wee! You go and know what it's about. <laughs> I'm just thinking about um have you ever seen um was it Unc was it called um Uncle Mac? Was it Uncle Mac uh, the, the the cab driver, you know, um Kevin Hart doing the show. I love watching Kevin Hart, you know. In the um in a goddamn taxi. In the taxi cab and he's just playing like he's pretending to be like an old guy, you know, an old taxi driver and he just like got a sense of humour and that you know but Kevin Hart is a funny man he really is a good um comedian you know someone I used to really uh, two of my favourites two of my favourite ever comedians and funny actors were um Robin Williams okay Robin Williams and um and um uh, he was great he was a legend you know and um also um uh, what do you call it? Um, so, 
Jim Carrey. So Jim Carrey was amazing also. He, all, he is amazing. You know. He is the goddamn man of this bitch. Can't make shit up like that. You know. he's, got, he's got a very good sense of humor, humor. Very witty. So these shadows ain't liking the look of those goddamn shadows right there though. Feel me? Alright, so let's go over here. Because I've got to remember. See, the thing is, I didn't want to have the shadow on this side. You see, sometimes it's like, you know, with colours and shading and stuff, sometimes you look at things and you're like, oh, I didn't want to have it, like, uh, it doesn't look nice to me, you know what I mean? But, it don't look nice to me, but man, delete this. <laughs> I can imagine someone hating my stuff here. But I'm just saying, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's the... Uh, you got a you got roll roll with the punches like kickboxer. Now I'm just saying sometimes you got to understand understand what you're doing. You feel me? Understand what you're saying. Be saying any don't be saying any lame ass shit up in this bitch. Come around and talking this shit, make it smack in the mouth. Feel me? I'm just saying. <laughs> forgot this line here. God damn me, son of a bitch. But basically, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just you know, adding a few details. But I'm just saying, sorry to be joking around too much here, yeah, I'm just having some fun, you feel me? Can I get some fun in my life, damn it? But I'm just saying, you know, um, like, you've got to remember where the light's coming from and how the colours are being reflected or whatever it is, you know. Colours, shading, lights and stuff. But goddamn one night I was outside one night and I was like, do 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 I thought it was encounters of the fucking... Goddamn, you know, close encounters of the goddamn remakes, you know what I'm saying? They got everything going on here, man. Man, they got goddamn Stallone wannabes down at the gym these days, popping their shit. Get your grind on, homie. Anyway. <laughs> so that's our character there, that's the scene we got. That's the, that's the scene like plasticine. Smash them in. Well, that's basically what we got there. So, oh, mind you, we can cl clean these lines up, man. They're looking a bit sketchy. He's a sketchy character right there. I'm gonna sketch that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna goddamn clean that shit up. That's what I'm gonna do. Here we are. Here, sir, do. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I, I want to say thanks for watching my video and see you in the next tutorial. We're gonna get this guy standing like a man. A man. You know what I'm saying? The plan. Thanks for watching, man. Thanks for watching. This guy's gonna get up. We're gonna do this. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Thanks for watching. I'm just playing around with the voices. Don't worry, I'm just having some fun.